Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. This way, on me. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all... Who you are, right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They say find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay.
at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. You see anything through your scope? Just a moment. when I see you. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Gonna make a call? Just give the word. You're going in, kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Out of here now, boy. Hey, 
Praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be. For a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darkie. I said, a miracle shall strike you down. Get out of here, you nigger piece of shit. Praise be. <laughs> the heavens await. The great angel Arthur shall smoke you down. Enough with you. No, oh, no. Just give the word. You see me play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. As soon as you shoot, I'll go. Waiting on you. Any men in the area would have heard that they might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing arms. There might be guns in these wagons. This stuff's too old to bother with. This one looks good. Search it. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep.
I can't see anyone chasing us. Give him some whip. Let's go. a lot lately and I wanted to <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this Sean's a loud mouth bragging don't worry about what Sean does hey I like him you know well so do I it's my better judgment just you worry about you he wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me we had to dig him out of Blackboard but enough but nothing me and Dutch and everyone who counts we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur.
Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. A sad man indeed. Good evening, Arthur. Grimshaw. How is your mood? Fine. I'm so glad. You know, while Evening, we Arthur. Up that mountain, I thought long and hard on if we had a view. Very amusing. I suggest that the road could be alive, but Mr. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into stew. Said he couldn't bear to see your face for even one moment longer than he had to. Well, you're quite the amusing. Mr. Morgan! I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Good evening, Arthur. Something good. I said, I got us a score, Miss Roberts. Maybe you'll let me take you out sometime. I don't think so. I shall. Hey, <sighs> fat man, go buy us something decent to eat, hmm? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Evening. You busy, Arthur? Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 